we have two goals and two responsibilities. An, an extremely supportive role in the community and in the school atmosphere, but also our own thing in competitive side and our own teaks and our own curriculum and throughout the community. I mean, anytime anybody needs something and there's an event, they call the band and they call the drum line. And we're at every football game and we are at every pep rally. And meanwhile, on the back burner, we have this incredibly competitive and highly driven band program with high expectations both musically and through the marching arts that we maintain. And I think that's a big reflection of the students. I, I'm thinking back to the Alamo Dome when you're walking out in the field and there, over the loudspeaker you hear now introducing the Highlander Band and everyone goes crazy. It's like... Band in Conference 5A is the Highland Park High School Marching Band. It makes you nervous but then you get that adrenaline. You're like, well we got to show them what we can do, you know. We've worked so hard to create this product, now time to perform, time to show it to these people. They've come here to feel emotions, to get excited over band. You kind of, you, you love that moment, you know, when you can make other people happy. What makes the Highland Park ISD band program so special is the students, by far. It's sort of a reflection of their academically driven nature that is an essence of Highland Park that carries over into the band program. I don't know what it was exactly that made me want to join band, but something about it was just so incredibly appealing about being able to make music and just listening and even the, the music that we're in now. I'm sitting there in rehearsal and it's so much fun and I'm just sitting there like, wow, that's us playing that. Students start band in sixth grade and they are in like instrument classes. They usually spend the entire sixth grade year learning how to play their instrument and then they move into what we call performance bands in seventh and eighth grade where they are usually ability based. In fifth grade they gave us multiple options. They gave us like choir, orchestra, art, band and what interested me about band was like how amazing it sounded. I just really wanted to be able to sound like that. Well, I didn't know how to do anything with music, so I didn't know if I would like band in the beginning, but once I started playing it, the teachers really helped out, and it was just, you just started to get better. I think the hardest part at the beginning was learning like to read music and stuff, and then after that, I think in seventh grade, it was really like steady and I got a lot better. And then when students move from 8th to ninth grade, a lot of that stays the same. The only new thing is the marching band, and that encompasses the entire Highland Park High School Band program, and it is August through November, after which band is generally the same as, as middle school was. When you first start marching band, you're like, this is weird. I haven't done this before. But then you see, you kind of get introduced to this larger community of band students all doing the same thing, all creating, all trying to create the best product they can. And when you're introduced to this world of marching, then you're like, wow, I want to be the best. Once you step into high school, uh, it's definitely different because now you're combining, instead of two grades, you have four grades, all possible to be in one band together. They kind of click once through that first year, mainly through that first semester of marching, through that big first realization, they're like, okay, this is, something I want to be in for the rest of my time in high school. We also have a jazz band and a color guard and a winter guard and drumline. There are bagpipers. There are so many different little facets involved in the entire Highlander band program too. Definitely band is my main extracurricular. It takes up most of my time. I'm here usually every day practicing my off period or whatnot. I'm also part of the hockey team, robotics team, and Civil Air Patrol outside. I do baseball pretty much almost every day, but I still have a lot of spare time on my hands to practice, do my homework, study, play with my friends. I mean, band might take up some of your time, but it's definitely worth it. One of my best experiences I've taken away from being in band is Time commitment skills have improved greatly. Just learning to prioritize what you need to get done first. I think what makes it really unique is that everything that we're able to do at the high school is so important of what goes on at the middle school. 
You know, in sixth grade, you're, you're just with people playing your instrument, and you're starting to figure out how it works, how to play it. And then seventh and eighth grade, you start playing with other people in the, the full band setting. And then once you move to the high school, it's just, it's a completely different ball game. You can't join band in high school without having the prerequisite of those years of sitting in a beginner class in sixth grade and then going through the middle school activities. So the nine through 12 instrumentalists here at the high school are a culmination of a lot of years of investment. We've done state finals, we did state prelims. It's been a crazy sugary journey over these last few years. What sort of moments, emphasis on mint, M-I-N-T, uh, do you think about your favorite over this, this whole experience? Definitely right now. I mean, we've been working for three plus months for this moment, and in reality, you know, we've gotten music for two years ago. It's really cool knowing you can translate so much more through a performance and music to an audience than you know just words can. For me, I think stepping out in uh, uh, state finals, looking into the Alamodome, known relay. My last marching performance as a part of the band, it was special. 